Hey crew, it's Pit, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out another drop that y'all, somehow I missed this one. Gone, Richmond, North of Richmond remix. Let's dig in and see what's up. It's a damn shame what the world's got into For people like me, people like you Wish I could just wake up and it not be true Oh, but it is, oh, but it is in our home i feel like we don't got nowhere to go half in the dark when i turn on the news they yearn to confuse for total control it's <laughs> if you're turning on the news you're already doing it wrong because they are there to lie to you they can propagandize the american people it is not against the law oh, just to show look at the way that they try to divide us and widen the hole between <laughs> left and the right black and the white we're stronger together but weakest alone <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. We need to come together. That does not mean, though, that we need to accept some of the ridiculousness. I'm not accepting any ridiculousness from the right. I'm not. I'm not accepting racism. I'm not accepting any of that kind of stuff. Right? But I'm not putting up with the new stuff on the left either. I'm not putting up with that. I, I'm not playing the games. I'm just not, I'm not going to use preferred, so I'm not doing that. I'm just going to do what I've been doing my whole damn life. And I'll meet in the middle with anybody in the middle. I'll work with the left-handed side and the right-handed side, and we can meet in the middle on all kinds of good stuff. But I'm not accepting the bad stuff from either side. Right in the hole between left and the right, black and the white. We're stronger together, but weakest alone. We're the people we America's heart. So the politicians tear us apart. We've been electing all the wrong people. Sweaty all evil. Look at Epstein, the protecting another. Like electing the wrong people. Like I saw another post this morning. People were like, we need term limits for Congress. No. No, no, no. Like no. Term limits from Congress keep good people from getting reelected. What we need to do, and bear with me, right? This is a new concept. Be responsible in our voting. We need to make sure that we are holding accountable those people we elect to represent us. We need to make voting in elections and being an informed voter cool, right? For lack of a better term, because now it's not, right? I don't have time for that shit. I don't need to know. It don't make no difference. It don't matter if I vote or not. I vote or not. Like, everybody's full of these negative emotions. When We have a, a perfectly planned system that we do not utilize correctly. The pedophile, how can Jeff free? And I don't play with them people, right? If you know my story, you know I don't have no cut for those people he just messaged and I cannot repeat. He never get a trial and be kept free for so many years. What I whistleblow is the repressing. <laughs> If you as much as blew your nose in the direction of Washington, D.C. on a certain day in January, they got video footage, they coming for you. But if you pull the fire alarm and shut down a whole place, no big deal. If you take militant people into the, into the actual circle of the building where people congregate, and you actually shut down the floor of said building, that's perfectly fine. But don't sneeze in the direction. Like, I'm not a violent person. I'm not pro-violence. And anybody who committed violence on that day, by all means, do what you got to do. If you were there instigating, if you were there trying to make this happen, then by all means, the book should be thrown at you. You should have been there for peaceful assembly. But, trespassing now, boss. Now, that's, that's some bull right there. That whole situation going down over there, that's some bull. We as patriots probably should not be standing for it at all. I'm really of the opinion that this coming cycle is going to change some things. Because on my timeline, that's what's happening, right? If you're not aware, I've got my whole timeline right here. Y'all are all welcome on it. But on this one, things are going in a different way than the way they went on that one. You want to pin the Mandela effect on something? It's because I am changing the timeline. And so on my timeline, we're having re accountability and responsibility. And so we're seeing people being held to the fire across governmental levels. On my timeline, people are responsible. And they, they inform themselves on how to vote. On my timeline, people are actually voting and 
actually doing what they're supposed to do. Making sure that their taxes are being spent the way that they're supposed to be spent when you're represented and those laws are passed. That's what I want. And so that's what's happening. That's, that's what I am manifesting on this timeline. I am making that happen through the will of God, always, on all top, right? But through prayer and talking with God, I am seeing changes in my life. So my timeline's going to rock. Y'all should just get on board. How many went to the island? I feel like the truth is silent. <laughs> and I'm trying to not get banned because of this, right? I agree with him on this, right? I think there should have been some rat -a tat -a tat -a tat tat Somebody should have pulled a glicky and went, it should it's not my kids. I, I I have no personal arms reach of any of that. So I can't personally take care of any of that. I hate it. Every single bit of it. I don't condone use and violence, but anyone trafficking kids can find it. The media That's exactly where I'm at. Keeps us mindless, hate each other, but we really are blinded. Huh. The real enemy are keeping the files of Kennedy buried, so bearing in my mind it. It's a damn shame. I wonder why they would want to hide that. I wonder why they would want to keep that under wraps. I don't know. But people like me, people like you, wish I could just wake up and it not be true. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it is. Our nation is bleeding, way too depleted. One eighth of our kids are not eating. I'm a, I'm a local person, right? I am. I think that that should not be the federal government's responsibility in the slightest. The federal government's responsibility is up to and including the protection of our borders from outside forces and the protection of our rights. Period. <laughs> like, they're not giving us our rights. They are already ours. They are protecting other people from taking them from us. That is their whole point. It is not to feed us. That is my job for my neighbor. That is your job for your neighbor. If you have somebody disabled and they need their grass cut, you should be helping with that. That is your responsibility as a neighbor and as a, a child of God. If there is somebody you see hungry, you are supposed to feed them. Now, you are not supposed to go into poverty so that you can feed other people. And don't even feel guilty if you can't, right? But if you can and you don't, then that's up to you. You're making that choice and you're going to have to answer for that choice. Not the government. We should not be giving money to that, but we do. And so since we do, we should have the expectation that if we, as responsible citizens, provide these monies for this, then it should be used in a manner that is not wasteful. It is to be used in a manner that is going to raise up and not hold back. And what we do with our current social networks mostly is hold back. I am for social networks. I think that social security disability is a wonderful thing. Social security retirement, there's some arguments can be made on that. I think, I think that uh, welfare is a good thing. I think the food stamp program has saved millions of lives. I think uh, Medicaid and Medicare saved millions of lives. I think those are great things, but we have way too much waste tied into them way too much regulation, way too much red tape. You should be able to get the procedures that you need if you're on government health care. If you have been deemed a ward of the state, then they should be taking care of you. Not everybody can be the ward of the state. Right? There are requirements for that. You do not have a guarantee to health care, even from the state. I don't think we should have the programs as extensively as we do. But I am glad that we do have them, right? I'm a very middle road person on that one. The rich get impatient and greedy, they're cheating because I don't see wages increasing. There's, that's a big problem. And we could get into a very lengthy talk about why the socioeconomic pressures of wages increasing and all of that. My thing on this channel is personal responsibility. If you are not happy in your wage area, it's time to move on. And if there's nowhere to move on to, that means you're at the top of your wage area, then it's time to do your own thing. The American dream was never, hey, can I work for you? The American dream was, hey, you see that piece of woods over there? I'm going to go make a home and scrub it out. And I'm going to do my own thing. 
And then when we got to less wilderness and more people, it was like, hey, I'm going to create my own business. I'm going to work for you for a little while. I'm going to save and plan and do, and I'm going to make my own way in life. And then somehow we turned that into, I'm going to work for this guy for 60 years until I die. Or I'm going to work for him for 40 years and then hopefully retire and have a pension. That was never what the dream was supposed to be. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness does not necessarily include a whole lot of drudge work. It's not meant to be miserable. Printing money like it's free form. Like this should be the nation of entrepreneurs. We should be exporting growth to the rest of the world. We should be starting businesses and then taking them to Peru or Guatemala and helping those economies to raise up. Because when everybody raises up, then things get better. Inflation is a tool that keep us poor. Never seek more or dream. How can we leave shore when the price of gasoline just reach for time to detour? <laughs> All the oil that we fiend for, so we need <laughs> war as they send my older brother overseas in the Marine Corps. <laughs> and look at the cup. My son is of age, and there better not be a draft. We're going to have to book out to the Booger Woods. I'm not letting him go. Ain't happening. Lost to college, but we did not get no knowledge. Six figures in debt to work at a desk while billionaires line their pockets. That's true, but you know who's responsible for that? Y'all going to get mad at me? <laughs> the student loan debt situation is a major problem. and The fact that people were told they had to have a degree is a major problem but nobody made you get a liberal arts degree nobody made you sign that dotted line you chose that shit own up to it if you knew there was no point in having a feminine studies degree you knew that shit you knew that the only point behind that was to create division and to get an easy degree so you could go make all the money well guess what nobody wants a feminine studies major I'm a I'm pro feminist, right? I think everybody is equal, but I am not this new age front feminist bullshit. And so, like the stuff they're teaching in the colleges is it's indoctrination. So you are literally paying to indoctrinate yourself into some stuff that doesn't even make sense anymore. If you're not getting hard sciences where the degree is literally required for it, engineering, architect, doctor, lawyer. Don't go. Elon designed a rocket to go out and fly to comets, but we couldn't find a cure for cancer, pharmaceutical profits. Okay, there's a whole lot there. Like, on the one hand, they don't want you better, and on the other hand, cancer's a whole... Like, comparing building a rocket and curing cancer is unreasonable, right? That's not an A-B situation. Those are two completely unrelated fields. Now... I personally hold that the the non-growth cells that sometimes tend to congregate in people is well, by and large affected by our diets and the electromagnetic stuff that goes on in the air. And so I do agree that they haven't cured that for a reason, but it's not because Elon sent a rocket to space. I got no time for nonsense. Won't talk about Biden and Donald. Cause look what's behind the problem. Rich men, they supply the Congress. <laughs> and that's true. For people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true. Oh, but it is. Oh, but it is. Living in the new world. With a no. Rich men, oh, the rich men, Lord knows they all just want to have total control. Y'all uh, make sure y'all get back over to my boy Gon's page. Give him a like, share, and a sub, throw him a comment. Let him know you appreciate what he is doing. I do. I'm here for the conversation, y'all. I'm here for solutions. I'm here for us to be able to talk about how to get better out of this. I don't want us divided. I don't want us doing stupid stuff on either side, right? I don't like the stuff the far right does at all. I have no cut for it, none. I don't like the stuff the far left does at all. I have no cut for it at all, none. I have no time for foolishness. That's all foolishness. Melanin levels is stupid. I mean, that is the dumbest thing to get mad behind. 
It's like, it's like getting mad behind genitals. Okay, what are they going to do? Change them? That's dumb. Don't do that. This was great. I'm here for the conversation. This was well done, right? I'm not here, like, there's been a few of these that I've attempted to do, and I just don't like the direction they tried to take it. Ginger Billy's thing, I don't like it. But this, this was fun. This was great. It's bringing to light real issues that we really need to talk about. And I dig it. So, go on, keep it up, brother. I appreciate it. This was great music. And great music is always greatly appreciated over here. To the crew, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate every single minute that you are here with me. And I am praying for you every single day. Until next time, I love you. You're perfect, whole, and complete just the way that you are. And this has been Pit State. Peace.